Miss Debra, it would help us more if you understand that I am here to help you. I know you are. We don't have a choice, do we? With all of my busy schedules, I never missed your program on TV. Every day, you had a word for me. What happened? What turned such a godly woman into your fear's best? You do a very dangerous job. Why? Why do you live? To see justice served and human dignity of hell. What if there was no reason to live? If there was no justice to uphold? Without purpose. We are nothing but brute animals. Sally, look at me. I swear, no one will ever lay a finger on you again. No one will ever hurt you again, I promise. Once I get to the office, I will sort your papers out. You will live and grow with me. You get to achieve all of your dreams, okay? And when you get home, don't get into any trouble with your uncle. Try to avoid him as much as possible. Do you understand? Let's talk to God. Where is he? Where is Rufus? Where is Rufus? I don't know. I don't know. He was taken. He was taken by the police. There were three men. Why did you turn in yourself after the second? I thought watching Sally die in my hands destroyed my heart. I couldn't live to see those men breathe. But 
with each person I killed, I still felt very broken. I didn't heal. I died more. <laughs> I don't think you need any sermons right now. You're in a very bad place. Rufus, the third guy in the car. He was apprehended trying to leave town. He's in our custody. And I promise you, he'll be brought to book. Deborah is missing from her cell. 